Hi, my name is Ali Pasquitty, and this is my Foley catheter insertion and removal video. Introducing you to my assistants, I have Nicole Blackburn, who's going to be the patient, and Grace Cleary, who's going to be filming. And giving you a 360 view of my workspace. Shows that I have pulled the curtains fully to ensure patient privacy, and then I also have adequate lighting for the procedure. Over here, I have my supplies. I have my graduated cylinder, chucks pad, leg strap, hand sanitizer, clean gloves, and then on this table, I have my Foley kit, where I will be setting up my sterile field. I'm okay to begin. So simulating that I'm just now walking into the room. Hi, good morning. My name is Allie, and I'm going to be your nurse today. And I start off by having you tell me your full name and date of birth. Nicole Blackburn, 210-1998. Okay, that's what I see on your armband. So I've checked your medical records and your chart, and your physician has put in an order for me to insert a Foley catheter today. Are you familiar with what that is? No. Um, all it is is small tubing that's going to be inserted up your penis through the urethra into your bladder, and it just helps us drain and monitor your urine. Um, can you tell me if you have any allergies to latex, iodine, or shellfish? No. Nope. Okay, then we're okay to start. I've raised the patient bed to working height, but I have the one side rail up opposite me, and then I'm standing over here so the patient is in a safe position. So I'm just going to start off by lifting your gown and getting your legs in a comfortable position so you will be exposed. Okay, and at this time I would offer the patient pericare, but for testing purposes I'm going to skip this step. Okay, so now what I'm going to be doing is just setting up my sterile field. Um, I may be a little quiet during this part, but feel free to interrupt me with any questions or concerns that you may have, okay? Okay, all right. So this is my Foley catheter kit. It is a size 14 French. It doesn't expire until 2019, so we're okay to use it. And it is also latex free. Um, it's okay that it's open for testing purposes, but in a real life setting, I would make sure that the packaging is intact, free of rips, tears, punctures, or moisture, and that my workspace is clean, free of moisture, and to my working height. I'm going to start off by using the outer packaging of the Foley kit as a trash bag for myself. And putting in the label in the bottom for added support. If it's okay, sir, I'm just going to place this by your hip for myself to use as a trash. That's fine. Okay, thank you. And then turning my kit to make sure the first swab is opening away from me. I'm going to turn and adjust. Okay. And then I'm going to begin by grabbing the open end of the sterile drape, letting it open on its own, and then making sure the shiny side is facing me. I'm going to catch an air current and place it between the patient's legs. If it's okay, I'm just going to reach over you for a second. That's fine. Okay. So now I'm going to begin the sterile gloving.
and being mindful that my hands are now sterile, I'm going to keep them above my waist and I'm going to use the packaging for a trash so it will no longer be sterile. I'm going to place my finished shaded drape on the trash because we won't be needing it. I'm going to put the lid on my urine specimen cup and put it in the trash as well. And I'm going to simulate pouring the betadine over my cotton balls. Open and close my forceps to make sure that they work. Simulate pouring the lubricant into the tray. And then uncapping my syringe. And then I'm going to adjust, be mindful of my one and quarter. I'm going to remove the blue sheath, maintaining control of my catheter. And then I am going to hook up the syringe to the green port of the catheter. And I'm going to simulate lubricating my catheter with the lube that's in the tray. I'm going to move my equipment over to my new sterile field that I've created. Okay, so I'm going to begin the cleaning process. You're going to feel my hand on your penis and it may be a little cold. So using every cotton ball I have available in my kit, I'm going to clean starting with the tip and using a circular motion outwards and using every cotton ball I have. I'm also going to make sure that my forceps and my dominant hand do not touch the patient. Okay. Now I'm going to step out of scenario and lubricate the catheter with the lubricant that we use. Okay, sir, I'm going to begin inserting the catheter. I just want you to take a deep breath for me. I'm going to guide it in using my dominant hand. And since he is a male, I'm going to go all the way until the bifurcation. So I'm going to secure it and inflate the balloon with the 10 cc's of sterile water. Now maintaining pressure so it doesn't passively deflate, I'm going to unhook and leave my syringe and I'm going to pull until I meet resistance. Okay, the catheter has been inserted but I haven't yet attached it to your leg so I just want you to stay still for me while I change my clothes. I'm going to secure the leg strap around the patient's upper thigh. Okay, and then I'm going to get the red part of the tubing and attach it to the green part of the leg strap. Making sure I'm not occluding any of the softer tubing. And then getting my Foley bag, I'm going to go over the patient's leg. 
making sure all the loops are descending. And I'm going to hook it to this part of the bed so I'm not putting it on the side rail. Okay, I'm going to gather any of the supplies that I don't need anymore. But I'm going to leave the syringe and um, the drape for testing purposes. And then at this time, I would offer the patient peri care again, but for testing, I'm going to skip this step. How was that for you? That was fine. Okay, good. So at this time, I would lower the patient into a comfortable position, um, lower his gown and lower the bed, and then I would make sure that um, he is in a safe position with his side rail up and has his call light, and then I would begin documenting that I inserted a size 14 French catheter, and I inflated the balloon with 10 cc's of sterile fluid, um, and then I would document that the patient tolerated the procedure well, and then the characteristics of urine, if there was any, which would be the amount, odor, color, clarity, and consistency. So um, I'm going to step out of simulation and pretend that it is three days later, and I'm here to remove the patient's catheter. Good afternoon, my name is Allie and I'm going to be your nurse again today. Um, can you please tell me your full name and date of birth? Nicole Blackburn, 210-1998. Okay, good, that's what I see on your arm again. So I checked your chart and your physician has put in an order for me to remove the Foley catheter that we inserted a few days ago. So we're going to get started with that. So I'm going to start by placing my chest count on the floor next to the Foley bag. And I'm going to grab my graduated cylinder to measure the urine. And I'm showing that I know how to operate the clips. I would take off the alligator clip, point it downwards, and then open the metal tubing, let it drain into the cylinder. Clip the metal and then reclamp the alligator clip. And then I'm going to move this over to the side so that I don't knock it over during the rest of the procedure. So I'm going to start by removing the leg strap. Trying not to pull on the patient. Now I'm going to get my syringe and make sure I'm securing the catheter so it doesn't deflate and come out. And then for testing purposes, I'm going to actively deflate the syringe, or deflate the balloon, but in real life, it would possibly deflate from the pressure in the bladder. And I'm going to go until I have reached the same amount that I inflated, which is 10 cc's, and then I see bubbles in the bifurcation, which I do. And now I'm going to gently pull to remove the catheter, making sure I don't splash bodily fluids. All right, so the catheter has been removed. I'm just going to gather my trash. I'm gonna place it here because I'm repackaging my kit later. And now this area is gonna be designated as trash area. So I will be using the clinic 3 spray. 
How was that for you this time? That was fine. Okay, good. I will not be collecting um, any sterile specimens. And make sure they're not accepted for the patient record. And can you explain the data that I measure my cotton balls? And I'm going to go ahead and take my cotton Okay, balls. again, at this time, I would form pericare on the patient, but I'm going to skip it for testing purposes. And since I do have sterile gloves, I can adjust my box. I can be mindful of my one inch. Okay, and I'm just going to get the patient in a comfortable position. I'll go ahead and And then lower the bed. So I do have to inform you that the first couple times you void, um, you may experience some burning or discomfort, and that is normal with the removal of a Foley catheter. But if that discomfort continues after the first couple times you urinate, please let us know because we'll want to keep an eye on that, okay? Okay. Okay. And then I would make sure that the patient has his collite, that the one side rail is up because putting both would be a restraint in this case. Um, and then I would begin documenting that I removed a size 14 French catheter, that I was able to get 10 cc's of sterile fluid back out of the balloon into the syringe, and then I would document the characteristics of the urine, the amount, odor, color, clarity, and consistency, and that the patient tolerated it well. So knowing he's in a safe position, I'd be able to exit the room. And that concludes my Foley catheter insertion and removal video.